You know, the, the Chinese word for crisis comprised of two characters, Wei Ji, right? One Wei means danger, Ji means opportunity. So when the Chinese look at crisis, right, they always see what's the opportunity behind the, the crisis. So I think for Singapore, with, with the current uh, economic headwinds, right, what we are uh, confident of getting is that uh, there'll be a shift of travel sentiments from longer haul destinations mm. to shorter haul destinations. Mm. And I think this is when Singapore could potentially benefit because for consumers who are looking for a first world travel experiences, but who are now perhaps not prepared to you know, pay that kind of prices for European or US holiday, uh, I think Singapore offers a very good alternative because within Singapore itself, we actually offer this concentration of world-class theme parks, attractions, experiences that they can enjoy but without spending too, too, too uh, long a time away from home and within a, a much reduced budget. So I think Singapore could still potentially benefit with the current, current situation. You know, 10 years ago, the exchange rate of the rupees to the Singapore dollars was about 25, one Singapore, dollar to, one Singapore dollars to 25 rupees, right? Uh, to one year ago, it was about 40, one Singapore dollar to 40 rupees. Now it's about one to 48, 49. Right. I think once the Indian consumers adjust to a new normal, I think uh, the, the psyche of, of the, the desire to experience an overseas vacation is so deeply ingrained into the Indian psyche that they will, uh, they will want an overseas vacation right, rather than domestic vacation. I think for 2012, we expect to exceed 9 lakhs of Indian travellers to Singapore. I think uh, for the first two months of this year, 2013, the Indian visitors to Singapore have increased by 10%. So I think this year, you know, at least in the beginning part of the year, the picture is still very positive. I don't quite have the statistics for the second part of the year. You know, so I think it's too early to say whether this will really have a large negative impact on outbound.